Hey, finally we have come to the letter to the Philippians. I'm really excited about it. Seeing as it was written by Paul, we'd assume there is a doctrinal part first and then the practical part, right? But no. With Philippians, it's a bit different. It had a different reason for being written than the other letters. Basically, it's a thank you letter for a donation Paul had received from the Philippians. We could say, well, that's just administrative stuff. But no way, the Apostle uses this donation to address two essential topics that will be very important to you as well. Okay, so Philippians is a really relaxed letter if you compare it with 1 Corinthians, for example, where the Apostle had to confront moral evil. In other words, there were sexual problems, etc. Or compared to Colossians, where it was about intellectual evil, philosophy, etc. Or even more blatantly, the epistle to the Galatians, where the apostle had to put his foot down because there were false doctrines circulating. But with the Philippians, everything was actually in order. Well, almost everything. But well, first a historical recap. Acts 16. On his second mission trip, Paul and his brother in faith, Silas, were urged by the Holy Spirit to go to Philippi, an important Roman colony. Paul had preached and some people had been converted, but Paul and Silas had also been thrown into prison. And then there was an earthquake, etc. If you don't know the story yet, just read it through. Anyhow, the prison guard had come to faith and so a congregation rose there that had experienced something special with the apostle. And that's why they had a particularly good relationship with him. They had also been the ones who had financially supported the apostles right at the beginning when the others were still skeptical. But why is this story so important? Why did the apostle Paul use a letter about a donation to discuss something with the Philippians? Because the Apostle sees two small dangers, lack of unity and heavenly citizenship. Lack of unity because two sisters were at each other's throats a bit. And the issue of heavenly citizenship had been simmering under the surface because there were Jewish teaching in circulation that told Christians, you can't have your heads in the sky, you must think about the earth as well. In both of these discussions, money is the linchpin. First, because the financial support of a fellow Christian makes heavenly unity visible here on earth. And secondly, because every Christian who invests in the kingdom of God shows that his heart beats, first of all, for heaven and not for the earth. Okay, so this is the historical background. Now let's have a brief look at the biblical overview, that is how the letter to the Philippians stands in relation to the other New Testament letters. If we apply Philippians to the desert journey of the people of Israel, it does not represent deliverance from the world or fellowship with God or problems on the way, nor does it describe the separation from evil after the Jordan or the blessings in Canaan like Ephesians does. The letter to the Philippians rather shows the normal Christian life of a heavenly citizen who is not yet at his destination. The Apostle Paul shows that he is on the brink of death and can already see the destination spiritually, a little like Moses on the mountain when God showed him the land. But he was just not there yet. So the Christian is still in the desert shortly before the land, but not with the problems like 1 Corinthians. Sin does not even appear in the letter to the Philippians. It's all good, but not yet at the destination. Okay. I hope that has put us in the right mood and in the next video we'll go through each of these chapters. See you there. So that was the introduction to Philippians. I hope it was interesting and you feel like reading the letter yourself um, because that's important. Uh, below in the description you will soon find a workbook which will help you to discover everything you have seen in this video for yourself. And we will try to release a new video every week now and many thanks for your prayer support and especially to those who finance this series. Much joy in the Lord and until next week, God willing, bye.